All right, we have our last video. We finished up on equations, and now we're going to move to new material. We're going to talk about the coordinate system. And I bet you remember seeing this from the past. I want to introduce you to the parts, and then we're going to plot some points on the coordinate system. This coordinate system is made up of four quadrants. You can see, let me just show you what they are. Here's quadrant one, this area right here. Quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So it goes counterclockwise, kind of like a C. All right, let's identify our X and Y axis. The line that goes horizontally is your X axis. And the line that goes north and south is going to be your Y axis. When we plot an ordered pair, we always start at the origin, which is where the X and the Y intersect right there. Now, let's see, uh, I'm going to, uh, let's take a look at maybe um, plotting some points. If you're going to plot a point, it has to come to you in this kind of shape. It has to come to you as an ordered pair. The X is always first, followed by the comma, followed by the Y. The X, as you know, goes horizontally, so if the X is positive, we're going to go to the right. If it's negative, we're going to go to the left. And we're not going to stop and put a, a point there. It's the two that come together to make the point. And then if we have a Y, we're going to go positive Y goes up, negative Y goes down. So let me give you, let's talk about what might be in quadrant one. In quadrant one, the X's would be positive and the Y's would be positive. So in this quadrant, both the X and the Y will be positive. An example of that might be, well, let's take the four comma two over there. That says from the origin, move over four, one, two, three, four in a positive direction, and then go up two, one, two. So that point represents four comma two, and it's in quadrant one. Both the X and the Y were positive, all right? Now, let's go to this one. This one in quadrant two looks like we're going to go a negative x and then a positive y. So any number, any, any ordered pair in this quadrant is going to be a negative x and a positive y. So let's do, oh, say a negative three comma five, always starting with the x's. So from the origin, I'm going to move over one, two, three, which is a negative. And now I'm going to go up five, one, two, three, four, five. That is the point, negative three, comma, five. Now let's go to quadrant three. Quadrant three, let's see what's going to happen. We're going to be going to the left, which is negative on the x, and we're going to be going down. So we have a negative x and a negative y, all right? So let's do, say, a negative five comma negative four. So I'll start on the x-axis and move to the left for negative. One, two, three, four, five, and go down four. One, two, three, four. There's the point for the ordered pair, negative five, negative four. And then quadrant four, we're going to go positive on the x and down, negative on the y. So let's try maybe a 6, oh, negative 5. Okay, I'm going to start here and move over 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'll plot my point. Okay, so that is in quadrant 4. Now, sometimes they don't land in any of those quadrants. Let me give an example. What if I gave you four comma zero? Now, the x comes first, and then the y. So, so we're going to start at the origin, and we're going to move over four to the right. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're right here. And what does it say for the y? Does it say go up or down? 
No, it says we're not going anywhere. So that is four comma zero. And where is it located? It's located on the X axis, not in one of the quadrants. All right. So if you can do that one, how about this one? What if I did O a zero comma negative three? Now we're going to start at the origin. I'm right here at the origin and it says move three, move zero on the X. Well, that says stay put. So I stay put on the X, but then it says since you're staying put on the X, which is zero, then let's now move down three. So I did not move off the X, but now I move down one, two, three. And here is my point, and that is on what axis? It's on the Y axis, isn't it? Because I didn't move off the X axis, or in this case, the origin. So that's going to be your Y axis, OK? Now, I'm going to write some coordinates up here, and I want you to tell me what um, quadrant they would live in. All right? OK, here we go. Let me erase some of this. Okay, we'll keep this as positive and negative. Okay, what if I did this? Let's say I did a seven comma negative three. Okay, I want you to think about it. That's X first. You're gonna go to the right seven, then you're gonna go down three. What quadrant are you in? You are in quadrant four. A lot of times you'll see them written as Roman numerals, okay? So I'll, I'll do it. Uh, how about a two comma seven. We're going to move over two to the right, and then we're going to go up seven. So that's in quadrant one. Okay. Uh, let's go for a negative five, negative nine. In parentheses, need to put them in parentheses if they're going to be an ordered pair. So negative 5, x first. Let's go to the left of negative 5, and then down 9. So we're going to be somewhere down here, which is going to be quadrant 3. OK? And how about this one? 6, comma, 0. That says move over 6, positive on the x, and hold. So we're going to be somewhere right over here, and we're going to hold on the X axis. Okay, how about uh, a negative four comma eight? Negative four comma eight. We're going to move to the left of negative four, and then we're going to go up eight. So what quadrant is that in? It's going to be quadrant two, isn't it? Okay. So probably what you'll be seeing when you take your little quiz on this you'll either see a, a point on the coordinate grid, and you'll have to travel to that point, first doing the X and then the Y, and tell me where it's located. Or I may show you a location, and you're going to tell me what quadrant it's in. So let me just plot a couple of points on here, and let's see if we can identify uh, what it is. OK? Okay, let's say that I go, I'm going right here. Now I want to create a coordinate for that. So starting with the origin, I'm going to move over positive 1, 2, 3 for my x, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4. So this location is 3, comma, 4. All right? And what if I did say this one right here. I want to know the ordered pair for that point. Well, let's move first, always first on the x. Let's move over on the x, one, two, three, four, five, a negative five, let me write that, a negative five, and then from there, down one, negative one. So the ordered pair for that is a negative five, negative one. All right? I think you've got it, and I think you'll have a good time with uh, these lessons in this module.